A network is a group of computers that are linked together in order to share information. That can mean two computers hooked together in a home office or hundreds of computers into a larger network at a university or corporation. Networking allows users to share information and communicate with greater speed and efficiency than a normal internet connection. Computers can be networked using wires, optical cables, or wirelessly, either on the ground or using satellites. Millions of individual networks, both large and small, exist around the world, and for them to be used to the fullest, they must have the ability to link and communicate with each other. This is accomplished using the architecture of the Internet. Very often, these computer networks are only connected temporarily. To allow this, at the connection points of the Internet, a group of computers are joined through high-speed connections or switches, which are turned on or off as needed. From a practical perspective, here's how a network operates. When you connect to the Internet from home, you can use a wireless or wired connection that is high-speed or dial-up. Already a lot of options, huh? The first thing you need is to get a connection to an organization that actually has access to the Internet. This is most likely an ISP or Internet Service Provider. Most ISPs provide a variety of services to suit your specific needs, from wireless cable modem for heavy users to a slower dial-up connection over a telephone line for light Internet users. A primary job of the ISP is to provide you with your own IP address, Internet Protocol address. This is what identifies you as distinct from everyone else on the Internet, like an Internet Social Security number. You may have seen an IP address. It consists of four parts of up to three digit numbers separated by periods or decimals. With your IP address, you can now connect and communicate with others on the Internet. Once you make that connection, you can then request information stored on a network you are not currently a part of. If you are allowed access to this network, your computer can activate one of these internet connections or switches to open the path to your desired data. Because the internet is actually a series of individual computers and networks that can be connected to each other and disconnected as needed, it provides a massive store of information, media, and interactivity, all at your fingertips.